Hey, Christ Covenant Church, it, the Purdy family had a great vacation, but thankful to be back and looking forward to gathering with you this Sunday as we worship King Jesus together. And this Sunday, we're going to do our final felt board favorite uh, in the book of Jonah and uh, just calling it Jonah and the Whale as our final uh, Old Testament event uh, that we're going to look through. And, you know, as we've gone through this series and even Jeff's message last week, which was wonderful about uh, Abraham and Isaac, um, we have seen different men put into situations that they would have never chosen for themselves. Uh, probably surprised by where God's sovereignty had led them in their life. Um, difficult trials, temptations, and situations. And, and Jonah's going to be no different. Jonah certainly found himself in a situation he never expected. Called by God to, to do something that he never thought God would ask him to do. And when he disobeyed God, he found himself going down to a place where he never thought he'd go, going down in the bottom of a ship during a storm and then being thrown overboard in order to save the rest of the crew and being found swallowed by a great fish. Jonah goes down, down, down into places where he would have never chosen for himself, places he would have never expected, but it was in that lowest place where he experienced uh, the, grace, the grace and mercy of God and then after he experienced that grace and mercy, he was spit up back up on dry land. And so it was after he experienced this place where he would have never chosen for himself that he then goes and obeys God. And so I'm excited that this last message is going to kind of take us a step further from this idea of experiencing God's grace in the midst of difficult trials that we would have never chosen for ourselves. And now this week, we're gonna focus on the second half of the book of Jonah, chapter three and four, and we're gonna seek to answer the question, now that I've experienced God's grace and mercy in the midst of my trials, how does that compel me to relate with others? You know, the greatest, uh, command, Jesus says, was to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And so uh, in, in our spiritual life, as we are, are brought in by Jesus, and as we grow in our relationship with Jesus, we are always then sent back out to help others experience and follow Jesus as well. To, to share Jesus with the lost and to, and to help other followers, to, to share Jesus with the lost so they can become followers of Jesus and to help followers of Jesus take their next step in following Jesus. And so we're never called into Christ without also being compelled back out. And so we're gonna answer the question this week with Jonah chapter three and four, once I have experienced the grace and mercy of God in, in my own messiness of my life, how does that compel me to see others? And not just others in my church, others that I would say are, are in kind of my group or my camp, but how does it lead me to see uh, and think about others who are not us, but who are them? How does it compel me to think of them over there? them who are of a different, come from a different background than me, them who come from a different culture than me, them who, who grew up in a different world religion and, and world system than I did. How does, it, how does it compel me to see and respond to the other kind of people? Look forward to walking through this passage and answering that question with you this Sunday as we come to worship King Jesus.